Well, here we have something odd. This is from a customer we helped before with the e-bike battery. He, he just came in with it this yesterday and uh, we don't know, I don't know what it's for. Most likely some kind of cordless tools. Cordless tool, 48 volt, 11 amps. And it's a plastic, like flexible case, very thin. And it has a weird six pin connector. Handlebar and an indicator that's not working. Uh, I will guess it's for some kind of gardening tool, like a leaf blower or something like that. Well, it's a skur machine in Swedish. I don't know what that is, but it's like uh, polishing the floor. <laughs> Never seen this before. So at least there's an electric one that's from works with a battery. Is it screws or pops it? This one is screwed on, but I don't think we're gonna remove that one. I think he already opened this one. Yeah, this one seems to be open. He has one pop seat left. But it doesn't stick very well, so... Oh. <laughs> It's so fun opening odd batteries up at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, two screws to uh, keep this plate in place that keeps this in place. It's so fun seeing odd design choices. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. Don't want to damage anything. Yeah, real sturdy, heavy piece, like 400 grams or something. <laughs> oh, before we're doing anything more, let's look at the charger. Especially this connector. <laughs> Just two pins are used, one and six. They haven't even added the other pins. No, it's supposed to be a little bit lower. And this hole is a little bigger and this is a little smaller. It's actually kind of cool design. Har Han E module. Cool. And Quenny Charger. This is a generic shiny charger that you put your name on. And with the fan on off switch and no LEDs. No, here you have one LED. And this one. Oh, and some info. Yeah, 13S. Output 3 amps. Oh, there's the indicator. No, it's still dead. Uh, and the port, there you have the port. Don't wanna damage anything. And open it up here in the rear. Yes, and there, oh, they're still just having two wires. This strange port is just to confuse you. But that is really good news because then we know the 100% certainty that we can work with this battery, so thank you, Kleno. Yeah, this is my way of removing these kind of tight-ass contacts without damaging them. Sometimes they're not even soldered, and then you just pull out the wire and cause extra work for you, because you have to fix that. So, no, no? Oh, it has a stupid multi-pin for the indicator. So there we go, aluminium case, actually quite nice, no water damage. <laughs> yeah, this is what gets me up in the morning. Weird ass battery packs, and what with all this tape? I'm guessing the customer had opened this up because it's black heatshrink tubing. Looks like he had a looky loo. He was curious. So here we go. BMS temp sensor. Um, discharge. Where's the red one? There you go. It's from directly from the battery. Positive, negative. So nothing complicated at all, but look at this processor. That's a huge ass processor. 
for just a standard battery. And there is another pin that's not connected to anything. It has balancing and most likely some kind of communication port for UART or CAN bus or if there's another 10 pin communication port. Is it the cells or the BMS that's faulty? This kind of complex ass BMSs. Look at that fuse. Like a 100 amp fuse or something. Yeah, sure. I don't know how many amps. This it has six MOSFET. So I'm guessing maybe 20, 20 amps. Could be more, could be less. Oh, dual row. And they're just using random. Oh, so silly. How am I gonna measure this? I can measure the positive, maybe. And the negative, give you a number. Come on, I saw something. Oh, 12.87, so this one is dead. Let's check these terminals. Yeah, bad shells. But we are gonna have to replace the BMS since we do not know if the BMS is working. Maybe the BMS killed the battery. It so often happened with these fancy ass batteries. And I wanna have a look at you. Ooh, it's a Harry battery. Oh. <laughs> I hope it's not mold or something. <laughs> Can't see any date code. We have to look at the cells. My guess is Sony cells. I have no idea. Sony cells or Chinese. Because Sony cells is what I would use in a fancy ass battery pack for some kind of cleaner. Oh, there you have the negative connector, quite thick, like 0 0.2. What is this? What kind of weird ass material are they using? Since they are lilac, I'm guessing Chinese. What is this? Is it... Uh, Magnetic? It's slightly magnetic. So I don't know what this material is. It's just slightly magnetic, but you can just... It feels like wax. What a weird... Please let me know if you know what this material is. It's like an enormous heat sink. Quite awesome. But we won't be going into the cells until we... Let's see how many cells are they using? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 13. So that's enough to give him a quote. It's a weird ass battery.